For those that don't know, Jay is the face of ESPN College Game Day. He is Mr. College Basketball. Jay Billis is here to give us some perspective. Jay Billis, ESPN College Basketball Analyst. I don't think people understand how hard it is to have your level of expertise and your stamina for what it is that you're doing at this age. The proudest thing in my life outside of my family is this. Not close, it's this. And back in December of 2010, Jay was asked to call a game that pitted Duke versus Butler. And there was a lot of anticipation around this early season game because those were the two teams that met nine months previously in the national championship game, where Duke narrowly escaped with a two-point win. And it's very rare in college basketball that the two teams that meet on the biggest stage meet again in early December. So like I said, there was a lot of hype around this game. Well, part of Jay's responsibility with ESPN is he goes and he watches both teams practice the day before the game so that he can get a feel for their strategy, their keys to victory, get to know their personnel so that he's armed with plenty of fodder the next day on air. Well, Jay, being a Duke alum, decided that he would go watch Duke practice first, who was led at that time by Hall of Fame coach, Coach K, the all-time winningest coach in the history of college basketball. And Jay walked into that practice, the Duke practice, and saw Coach K saying with great confidence, clarity, and conviction, guys, if you do what we do well and you play to our strengths and you stick to our game plan, we're gonna be more than fine tomorrow because we clearly have a competitive advantage. We are bigger, stronger, and more powerful than they are. We're gonna pound the ball down low and get easy layups and dunks. We're gonna out-rebound them, and we're gonna put a hand up on every shot. You do what we do well, you play to our strengths, and you execute our game plan, we're gonna be more than fine tomorrow because we clearly have a competitive advantage. And Jay left that practice and was thinking, this might be a massacre tomorrow. Coach K, one of the best to ever hold a clipboard or blow a whistle, just told his team definitively why they have a competitive advantage. But he needed to do his due diligence. So he went to watch the Butler Bulldogs practice, who at the time were led by head coach Brad Stevens. Three years ago, Brad Stevens was promoted from head coach to president of basketball operations with the Boston Celtics in the NBA. And to Jay's surprise, coach Stevens was talking to the Butler Bulldogs with the exact same level of confidence, clarity, and conviction. He said, guys, if you play to our strengths and you do what we do well and you execute our game plan, we'll be more than fine tomorrow because we clearly have the competitive advantage. We are smaller, quicker, and faster than they are. We're gonna get tons of points in transition and on fast breaks. We're gonna put on a smothering full court press, and there's no way their big guys can get out to our corner shooters. You do what we do well, you play to our strengths, you execute our game plan, we'll be more than fine tomorrow because we clearly have the competitive advantage. And Jay left that practice and was thinking, I got no idea who's gonna win this game. Both of these Hall of Fame caliber coaches have the self-awareness and the team awareness to know where their strengths lie, to know what they do well, but most importantly, they know the game plan that will give them the competitive advantage. And here's the thing, they both were 100% correct. It's a matter of perspective. It's a matter of vantage point. It's a matter of choosing to see what you want to see. And I share that with you for three specific reasons. Number one, each and every one of you on an individual level needs to have the self-awareness and be reflective enough to know where do your talents lie? What are your gifts? What are the things that you bring to, your, to the table and to your clinic that can add a maximum contribution to everyone and everything around you? You need to double down on those.